Dorothy, and I am so excited to see you today. You know, to get things started, I'm thinking that we should shout out super duper loud, hey friends, because we're all friends here. So on the count of three, I want to hear it loud and proud. Here we go. One, two, three. Hey friends. Wow, that was amazing. You know, I just love it here. Yeah, we get to listen to an amazing Bible story. Ooh, and some rockin' music. But <laughs> before we do any of that, we get to have fun together. That's right, it's time to play a game. So today, I have a house and I have a whole lot of animals. And I need your help to get all these animals back to where they belong. You see, some animals live in this house, but some do not. Do you think you can help me? You do? Oh, good. Okay, let's see what our first animal is. <gasps> it's a cat. Okay, raise your hand if you have a cat in your house. Oh yeah, that's quite a few of you. I think that it might live in the house, but let's make sure, let's see. Oh, it lives in the house. Oh, that was awesome. Okay, let's do another one. A cow. Hmm, do you think a cow lives in a house? All right, well, there's only one way to find out. Let's see. No. Not live in a house. A cow lives in a pasture with lots of grass. Okay, let's do another one. Oh, a goldfish. All right, what you thinking? Okay, let's see if you're right. Okay, here we go. It works! Yay! A goldfish can live in a house. Okay, let's keep going. This game is so much fun. And you friends are pretty good at it too. Okay, let's see. <laughs> A pig! <laughs> okay, well, I don't know if a pig lives in a house, but let's just see, let's see. <laughs> oh no, a pig doesn't live in a house. A pig lives in a pig pen with lots and lots and lots and lots of mud. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. A bird. Hmm, now this one could be tricky. Let's see, what do you think? Do you think a bird lives in a house? Okay, okay, let's see if you're right. It does, yeah, a bird can definitely live in a house. Okay, I think we have one more. Here we go. A flamingo. Hmm, flamingos are my favorite animal. All right, let's see if they can live in a house. Here we go. No, a flamingo cannot live in a house. A flamingo lives near water so it can catch lots of fish. Hey, can you stand up and try and stand like a flamingo? Oh, 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 oh. I don't know how they do it. That's pretty tiring. <laughs> okay, well, you friends did an amazing job playing this game. And we got all the animals back to where they belong. Nice job. <laughs> and now it is time for an incredible Bible story just for you. And I can't wait. So take a seat and get comfy. Are you sitting? Oh, good. All right, and let me see your hands. And open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap. <laughs> open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them in your lap. It looks like we're all ready. Hey boys and girls, my name is Tracy and I'm so excited to tell you something amazing I read in my favorite book. Hey, do you know what book I'm talking about? <gasps> That's right, it's the Bible. And the Bible is important because it helps us know how much God loves us. That's right, God loves us so much and we can always count on him to be with us and to always help us. I read all about a woman who had to be really brave and knew she could count on God. Her name was Rahab. Rahab had to count on God to help her to be very brave when she was afraid. You see, Rahab lived in the city of Jericho. It was not the best city to live in. It was full of bad people. And there was a really, really mean army full of bad guys that were in charge of the city. But 
not too far outside of Jericho was God's army. And God's army was full of good guys. And they wanted to help get rid of those bad guys. Before God's army could come into the city of Jericho, they sent in two men to be spies and to look all around. Those two good spies, hey, can you count those spies with me? Ready? One, two. Those two good spies, they snuck into the city and they were looking here and there. Can you help me? Can you pretend to be the good spies? Ready? Get your spy glasses out of your pocket. Put them on your eyes. Ready? Let's look. They looked over here and over there. They looked up and down. They looked all around. Good job being spies. They wanted to see what the city was like. But uh-oh, the two good spies, they got caught. Some of the bad guys from Jericho's army, they saw them and they started chasing them. Run! They chased them through the streets all through Jericho. Run, 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 run! And while they were running, the good spies, they ran into Rahab's house. Rahab knew who they were. She knew that they were from God's army and she knew that she had to help them or something bad would happen to them. Rahab took the two good spies up to the roof and she hid them. Her roof was made of stalks of wheat. That's kind of like tall dry grass. Rahab, she covered both of the men up very quickly with the wheat. Hey, I have an idea. Can you pretend to help hide the spies? Get your pretend wheat, get it in front of you. All right, on the count of three, let's cover up the spies. You ready? One, two, three, cover them up quickly. Come on, cover the spies, do it fast. Cover them, I don't see them anymore. Good job. After Rahab hid the spies, she heard something. Hmm, what could that be? It was a loud knock on her door. Rahab went straight to her front door, opened it, and standing right there in front of her were some of the bad guys from Jericho's army. They were angry. They were very angry. Hey, can you show me your angriest angry face? Whoa, those are some angry faces. But Rahab, she really needed to count on God. She could not be afraid. She needed to be brave. The bad guys, they wanted to get those good spies that were part of God's army. But Rahab did not tell those bad guys where the good spies were hiding. And after the bad guys left her home, the spies from God's army, they came down from her roof and they thanked Rahab for helping them. And they told Rahab they would be coming back with all of God's army to save the entire city of Jericho from that bad army. And the good spies, they told Rahab, put a red rope, hang it out of your window. And when God's army, when they come into the city of Jericho, they'll see the red rope and they'll know it was Rahab's house. God's good army would keep Rahab and all of her family safe. Yay! Wow! Rahab knew that she could count on God. And because of that, she was not afraid. She was so brave. You can count on God and you can be brave too. When you have to go to the doctor, you don't have to be afraid. You can be brave and know God is with you. You can count on God to help you to be brave. You can always count on God and I can always count on God. Hey, let's pray and thank God that we can always count on him. Can you give me a big clap? Dear God, thank you that we can always count on you to help us to be brave and courageous. We love you so much, God. Amen. Wow, that was so amazing. And I'm going to remember all week that I can always count on God. I'll see you all later. Bye, friends. Wow, that was an incredible Bible story. You know, friends, I have had the greatest time hanging out with you today, but the fun is not over yet. It is time to sing and dance to a super duper fun song. And I can't wait. So get up on your feet and let's dance. Bye, friends.
When I feel sad and I need a friend, God turns it all around and helps me smile again. When I get so mad or do something wrong, He loves me still, so I sing this. Sing. 